Okay, so in this problem we're told that a fish tank has dimensions 36 centimeters wide by 1 meter long by 0.6 meters high. If the filter should process all the water in the tank once every 4 hours, what should the flow speed be in the 3 centimeter diameter input tube for the filter? So in this problem what we're going to be figuring out is the flow speed of the water in this tube. So essentially the velocity of the water in this tube. So we can say V equals question mark, uh, since that's what we're going to go ahead and be solving for. And so, uh, sorry about that, let me put that back. And uh, what we're trying to find here, or what we're given here, is this fish tank. And so we know the dimensions of the fish tank are 1 meter by 0.6 meters uh, by 36 centimeters, which I just wrote as 0.36 meters, right, just to keep the units the same. Uh, and we're also given the diameter of this tube here, which is 3 centimeters. And so in order to solve this problem, or also, we also... Uh, know that we the tube or sorry the tank we want it to clear out uh, once every four hours so all the water in this tank we want to be cleared out by this filter uh, once every four hours and so the way we're going to solve this problem is by looking at the flow rate so the formula for flow rate uh, is equal to q the flow rate equals the cross-sectional area times the velocity so this is the formula you would use to relate uh, the flow rate inside a tube so we know the flow rate in this tube is the velocity of it, which we're trying to find multiplied by uh, the cross-sectional area. So whatever the area of the cross-section would be, so imagine just one circle in that, and we're trying to find uh, the area of that. And so we want this velocity, but how are we going to find it? So the way we do it is by looking at the flow rate of the tank, which we denote flow rate as volume per, uh, right, per time, right? So how much volume in, in a certain amount of time, right? per unit length time. And so uh, if we look at the tank, how fast is it going to flow out? Because we want them to be equal to each other, right? Because if this thing's going to clear it out, they have to be the same, right? Their, their flow rates have to be the same. And so that means our AV has to be equal to V delta T, where V is the volume of the tank or volume, right? In this case, we're looking at the tank. And then the change in time is how often are we changing that amount of volume, which in this case is four hours per the volume of the tank. So if we want to solve for V, which is the flow speed of the water, uh, we would just do uh, multiply, or sorry, divide both sides by A. So you would just have the volume of the tank divided by the area of our, the cross-sectional area of our tube here, uh, divided by uh, the, the amount change in time, right? How long this would take. So hopefully that makes sense. It's really just a matter of plugging the information in. Um, so yeah, so starting off with the volume of the tank, right? Because this was the volume of the tank per amount of time. We know it's going to be, uh, if you want to find the volume of a cube like this, it's just length times width times height. So that's the formula for volume, which is going to be the length we can call one meter times the width, which is, doesn't really matter which we choose, uh, times 0.6. Uh, and then you just multiply that by uh, 0.36. So length times width times height. Plugging this in, you would get that the volume is... 0.216, uh, and then the units are going to be cubic meters, uh, since we're looking at volume here and our units for the distance were meters. Uh, next, what we want to find is the change in time. As I said before, we know we're going to be filtering out this amount of volume, right, which is this value right here, per every four hours. So that's your delta T, and then A is the cross-sectional area of this tube. Uh, we know it's going to be a tube, so it's a circle, the cross-sectional the cross -sectional part. So uh, we know the diameter of this tube is 3 centimeters, and so the area for a circle is pi r squared. Uh, since we're using diameter, we know d, or sorry, radius equals the diameter over 2, right, since the radius is half of the diameter. Uh, just plugging this in, you would get pi times, uh, replacing the r with d over 2, uh, you would get this. So pi times d squared over 4. So pi over 4 d squared is your area. Let's go ahead and solve for that. So pi over 4, uh, we want our diameter to be in meters since we're using meters for the volume. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that would be uh, 3 centimeters is 0.03 meters. You just divide by 100. And let's go ahead and plug this in. So 0.03 squared times pi uh, and then divide by 4. So it's going to be a really small number. 7.06, we'll say 06... 9 times 10 to the minus 4 
Uh, this is meters squared since we're dealing with area. And yeah, so now we have the cross-sectional area of this tube here. And then now it's just a matter of plugging everything in since we have all the values. So 0.26 uh, divided by uh, 7.069 times 10 to the minus 4, right, which was our cross-sectional area, multiplying by the change in time. So dividing by 4. So now we're going to get 0.216 uh, divided by uh, our cross-sectional area and then dividing by 4. So with this, you're going to get the velocity is equal to 76.394. Uh, uh, I'm just going to round it to 76.4. So 76.4. And then let's look at the units here. Uh, we know this was meters cubed. This was meters squared. And this is hours. Uh, obviously, this is going to go away. And then this would just become meters on top because you would just subtract uh, the two, right? So this would just become meters. And then you have meters per hour. So 76.4 meters per hour. Uh, you can convert the units to something else if you would like. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in this. Uh, but if you want it in meters per second or whatever you want to do, uh, you can do that. So 76.4 meters per hour, that's going to go ahead and be the velocity of the water in this tube, right? So the water. And then, uh, yeah, so that's going to go ahead and be your answer. Just a quick rundown of what we did. Uh, we used the formula for the flow rate, right? The continuity equation, uh, basically, which tells us uh, the flow rate equals AV, right? The cross-sectional area times the velocity of the water in the tube. And then we know uh, the flow rate, we want it to be the entire tank, whatever that volume is, right? Full of water uh, per amount of time, which is four hours. So you just set them equal to each other. And then it's just a matter of dividing by A. And then you have the equation and you want to solve. And then we just had to find each of the values uh, using this formula here for volume. Uh, and then this formula here for the cross-sectional area. Uh, but yeah, so 76.4 meters per hour, that's going to go ahead and be the velocity of the water. So that's going to go ahead and be your answer. And uh, hopefully you found this useful. So I'm actually going to go ahead and actually convert this uh, just to make it a little easier to understand because I think meters per hour uh, is kind of hard to understand, right? So it's easier if it's meters per second. So we have meters per hour uh, to convert this. We know one hour is the same as 60 minutes. So we have the hours cancel and then 60 seconds, or sorry, one minute is the same as 60 seconds. And now we have it in meters per second. Uh, all we got to do is perform uh, this math here. So 76.4, I'm going to use the exact number. So dividing by 60 and then dividing by 60, you're going to get an actually really small number. So 0 0.021, we'll say 0 0.0212. Uh, and then the units are going to be meters per second now. So obviously that's extremely slow. It would take like 50 seconds for you to go an entire meter. So obviously this thing's going to flow at a very slow rate. Uh, but yeah, so you can choose however you want to write it. I just wanted to show you guys what it would be in a unit that's easier to understand. Uh, but yeah, so these are your answers. And uh, hopefully you found this video useful.